Do you need a change of situation? Do you know that God can turn things around for your good? Yeah, God has the ability and power to turn things around to your favor. He is also willing to turn things around for you. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. God's words, speaking in Romans above, is saying that as you are a lover of God, all things will work together for your favor. When your heart is sold out for God, He will do so much for you, and the wrongs happening in life will not affect you. You will begin to operate with God's calendar, and in His calendar, everything in life is working for your good. We so many assurances in God that whatever is happening in this life will turn your good and that if you are looking for a sign that God will turn things for your good, you will focus on these five things and when you remember any of them, they will be to you for a sign that of the truth, He will turn things around for you and they are as follows. 1. God's Word Two, God's promises. Three, God's integrity. Four, God's covenant. Five, God's ability. One, God's word. God left his word here for us to guide us and to give us knowledge of what he has done and what he will do for us. His word is a sure sign to us that things will turn out for our good. In our opening verse in Romans, the word is saying that for you that love God, everything that is happening in this world is working for your good. And I know you might be wondering, how is that possible? It is possible because it is God's word. So whenever you are in any situation, look at God's word. It will be a sign to remind you that God is making all things to work together for your good. 2 Peter 1 verse 17 through 19 For he received from God the Father honor and glory. When there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. God's word is a sure word of prophecy. Whatever God has said that he would do, that is what he would do. And there is nothing that can hinder his word from coming to fulfillment in your life. 2. God's Promises God has promised us a lot of things in the Bible, and all his promises will find expression in our lives. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. God promises that He will give you an expected end, so no matter the situation of the world right now, God is working out His plans for your life and His promises will begin to find expression in your life. 1 Kings 8 verse 56 through 57 Blessed be the Lord that hath given rest unto his people Israel, according to all that he promised. They hath not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses his servant. The Lord our God be with us, as he was with our fathers. Let him not leave us, nor forsake us. God had promised the people of Israel through his servant Moses rest and good things and he had kept his promises. He gave the children of Israel rest on every side. 
none of the promises that God gave that he did not fulfill. It is the same promise that you are a partaker of. Every of God's promises is a sure word and it will come to pass in your life. So when you look at his promises, it becomes a sign to you that God has promised you that he will take away evil and he will give you rest. So whatsoever it is that is happening now, it will turn to you for a testimony and that every one of the promises of God is a sure word that can't be aborted through any means. Three, God's integrity. God has sent his word to us. He has spoken so many things to us. He has promised us a better future and he has promised us that whatever is happening, he will bring us to an expected end. So how do you know for sure that all these things that he has promised will come to pass? What sign should I look for? Look unto the integrity of God. Whatever he says he will do, that is what he will do. You will know that for sure whatever is happening will turn for your good because his word cannot fail and he cannot lie. Numbers 23 verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of a man that he should repent. Hath he said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good? God cannot lie. He cannot fail. He cannot change. Whatever he has spoken, that is what he will do. His integrity is sure that whatever he has spoken, that is what he will do. 4. God's covenant. God is committed with his covenant. God's part is sure in any covenant. Genesis 9 verse 15. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. God's covenant with man puts him in remembrance and for every covenant God had with man, he is committed to performing it. Numbers 23 verse 20. Behold, I have received commandment to bless, and he hath blessed, and I cannot reverse it. God will not reverse anything that he has with a man, and this means that the entire covenant God had with our fathers, he is committed to performing every one of them. God's covenant is as sure as day and night. As long as the day and night cannot stop, there is nothing that can stop God's word from fulfillment. Jeremiah 33 verse 20 through 22. Thus saith the Lord, if ye can break my covenant of the day and my covenant of the night, and that there should not be day and night in their season. Then may also my covenant be broken with David my servant, that he should not have a son to reign upon his throne, and with the Levites, the priests my ministers. As the host of heaven cannot be numbered, neither the sand of the sea measured, so will I multiply the seed of David my servant, and the Levites that minister unto me. God had a covenant with David, and he is assuring you that it cannot break since day and night cannot stop. God said he will multiply the seed of David and we partakers of that seed. You are a partaker of the covenant God has with David, and the covenant cannot be broken which is a guarantee that all the promises of God will find full manifestation in your life. 5. God's Ability God can do that which He says He will do. Whatever God has said, whatever He has promised, God can do everything that He has said. 
Jeremiah 10, verse 10. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and an everlasting King. At His wrath, the earth shall tremble and the nations shall not be able to abide His indignation. There's nothing on earth that can resist God's ability to do anything. There's nothing that can resist God from turning your present experience for good. God can make all things abound. Acts 20 verse 32 And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of His grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. No person can give what he doesn't have. God has the capacity and ability to perform all that He has said He will do. He is not trying to go and acquire any more ability. He has all the abilities in place that are needed to perform all that He has said He will do. We have looked at the five signs that when you look at them, you will remember them. You have the confidence that God will turn whatever it is you are going through for your good. When you look at His Word, His promises, His integrity, His covenant and His ability, you would know for sure that no matter the challenge, God will turn your situation around. Numbers 23 verse 19 God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of a man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? The scripture affirms God's integrity like we have looked at earlier. He cannot lie. The whole Bible is the truth, and whatever he has said, he would do it for you. The Lord is committed to making it good. Psalm 66, verse 3 through 6. Say unto God, How terrible art thou in thy works! Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. All the earth shall worship thee, and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name, Selah. Come and see the works of God. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. The verse three of the scripture above says, how terrible art thou in thy works through the greatness of thy power. God works are not the normal things man does. He does mighty works that make men tremble. Your present experience is not too hard for God to turn it around. He does mighty works without any stress. So continually trust in God about what He has promised you. Let this scripture, Romans 8 verse 28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. Be in your heart day and night. Know it in your consciousness and unconsciousness that God will turn your situations for your good.